time to have your mind split and your skulls crushed. <laughs> a lot of people said, oh, this brutal battle between people who write poems for books and people who write poems for books that also read them out loud, just like the people who write them on the page, they become super full of animosity. Guess what? We're about to do something together. Now what do you do? Yeah, you just start to judge our clothes. <laughs> this is a poem Kim and I wrote back in 92, Lava Palooza. Chains Addiction, House and Chains, Mud Honey. It was an incredible time. But uh, this is when we both loved the same girl. And I wrote a poem about her. This is from uh, Strange Light. First of all, can you hear this, Jeff? In my twenties, I was army, and then I was as lonely as museum treasure. But then I felt free. In the grave outside, she found me. She was wearing too many colors to be taken seriously. I was proud in my twenties, posing like Hemingway's valet, calling Paris and telling it it lost. <laughs> Drinking and wishing I knew how to fight with my pants down. Learning how to claw my way into a good dress. Because talent was not working. Proud of all my dim light, my dim and dim light. She arrived like lost mail. She did not trust anyone barefoot. She wasn't afraid of anything. Lonely too, but not tragic. She was Margaret. Margaret. Margaret's heart had no crust. She smelled like wet black cherries. She was a strange blues, a woman born with a capacity for sunbursting. Margaret, Margaret, a hard name, hair of dirty tinsel, brown, furious. Her hands were branding irons, and I became hers. Off to the park with a flask full of anesthesia. All the snails rolled up in their shells, rocking back and forth against each other. This was a glossy summer. Everything in love, our hearts, both of ours, spread eagle and searched. I never heard the word splendor come out of a girl's mouth before. She told me she still saw something flickering in me and that it was enough to keep her warm. We were not star-crossed, we were horny music, the scorn of the born, dressed as a classic red rose. She lived in the teeth of all mad doors, other roses dying in her expensive faces. Margaret, Margaret, I often fuck up Margaret. Margaret, what kind of woman draws a survival manual for the wilderness in case it was attacked? Spiders were not scared around her. They did not feel scary around her. A falcon dies at 200 miles per hour. A human can run at 27 miles per hour. I am slow, love, Margaret. I am so slow. I mean, I'm moving the speed of bad mood lighting. She still moves with my poverty and loved me for years. I loved her with all my heart. I loved her with all of everybody's heart. I said, I may not be able to love you forever, Margaret, but I'll try with all my weird might for as long as the day will allow. Everything is supposed to die, but it does not frighten me now. It does not frighten me now. Give it a crown and give it an absolute zero. We saw some stuff we're never going to see again tonight.